in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. I'm going to be doing a rundown on derivative and integral formulas. Now you recall that I uh, keep saying there's no integral formulas, there's integral techniques. And um, that's true. I, for the Brunson solving integrals, you're going to just be using techniques to get uh, the integrals into a, a form where you can solve them. And those forms are literally the reverse of the derivatives, which I'm going to show you now. I'm going to align the different derivative here in this column. We have derivative formulas, which you've seen before. There's a couple more on the next sheet, so uh, stick with it. And over here, I'm going to be writing down the integral formulas in this column. Now you recall that the derivative of a constant times x equals the constant. You've seen that a million times. Well, if you take the integral of that, you're going to get cx plus c which you've seen in the power rule um, lecture that I did before. Every single time you're always going to get the integration constant. That's not new, but uh, right here in the second row we have the power rule. Run a little bit differently than what you've seen before, but this is still the power rule. Well, uh, I already did the power rule lecture for you guys. The derivative uh, integral of x to the r equals x to the r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c. Now we'll get into some new stuff. The derivative of sine of x equals cosine of x. The integral of cosine of x equals sine of x plus c. Derivative of a cosine equals negative sine. The integral of sine equals negative cosine. Notice that this makes sense because if we did a negative integral, or the integral of negative sine, we would have gotten positive cosine. So all we did there is switch around the signs, which is perfectly legit. The derivative of cotangent of x equals cosecant squared of x. Take the integral of cosecant squared of x, you get negative cotangent of x plus c. Plus c there too. And just to uh, finish up everything really quick, and then I'll go back to the first page. The derivative of secant of x equals secant of x tangent of x. So the integral of secant of x tangent x equals secant of x plus c. And for the final formula I'm going to do, derivative of negative cosecant equals cosecant x cotangent x. The integral of cosecant x cotangent of x equals negative cosecant x plus c. And you can look up, there's a few more of these, you can look them all up. But the important thing to point out is that whatever we're taking, hold on one second, let me switch colors. Whatever we're taking the derivative of, when we took the integral of the derivative, we got the same thing back, plus c. So in every single one of these, it's exactly the same. Which is why I keep getting to say that there's no integral formulas, because your integral formulas are literally just the reverse of your derivative formulas. And let me grab a different color here and we'll box in whatever the derivative was so we took the integral off. And I won't go through all these, save some time. So this all comes back to what I've said before. Uh, if you take the integral of a derivative, you get the original function back. If you take the derivative of an integral, you get the original function back. The integral is the antiderivative. So, you have some formulas here for your use. I would just recommend, if you need to see some of these, go look them up in a calculus book or online. I'll, I'll probably write them out on the website, too. There isn't much to know on these. I'll do some practice problems. But, uh, we're going to start getting into some real integration in a few lectures, or after some practice problems in the next lecture when we do use substitution. And the other big thing with integrals is integration by parts. So, look out for those.